hello friends in this video like we will be uh, seeing how to integrate active integrate active directory with uh, vcenter uh, like uh, how, how to integrate vcenter with active directory yeah yeah it's very much simple so we need to log in uh, to vcenter using the sso domain username password that is a uh, administrator so uh, i already logged in so here when you go to menu like uh, administration so we'll be coming to this screen so there we need to go to configuration so here we are able to see policies identity sources at active directory domain and other stuff so first we need to go to uh, like active directory domain to add the vcenter to the domain controller so here uh, like we need to click on join so here we need to give the domain name that is flc.com and uh, active directory username and password uh, which is a, a domain admin so i am using the uh, active directory administrator username password this is different from uh, the vcenter sso uh, administrator so just make sure to remember that okay now it is joined like a psc is joined to active directory so for that uh, like uh, we need to reboot the uh, vcenter as well as psc uh, so uh, i will be just rebooting the both and we'll get back to you i will just pause the video now okay guys I have rebooted the <coughs> vCenter and it's up now. Just we will log in now. There we go. So <coughs> Yeah, it is uh, added to domain. So now we need to change the. I uh, we need to add the identity resource for Active Directory. So we'll just do that. Only we are we are having uh, multiple options like Active Directory, Windows authentication, uh, Windows integrated authentication, and LDAP and Open LDAP. But already we have an act, uh, Windows Active Directory. We'll be using the option one. Uh, uh, so we'll be selecting the use machine account. So already we have a machine account in the Active Directory. So we just click OK. So yeah, it is added now. So we'll, we will make it set as default. So yeah, till now uh, the spare dot local domain like uh, SSO domain was a default one. Now so now we, we have uh, we have uh, like uh, make the set as default for FLC.com. Okay, so. So, so this is what uh, like uh, uh, the steps to add the active directory uh, like uh, we sent it to active directory so that's all for this video and i will be showing uh, uh, like uh, adding users like uh, uh, providing permissions to users of active directory and uh, uh, using the active directory user how you can log into vcenter uh, that's all for this video thank you thanks for watching bye bye